Lately, the REIT market has been very volatile and has led to a lot of interesting investment opportunities. Many REITs are now priced at their lowest valuations in years, and that's despite growing at a solid pace and having strong balance sheets. This is especially true in the small cap segment of the REIT market, which I believe is today heavily discounted. I've been buying a lot of smaller and lesser known REITs lately, but which one are they? Hey everyone, this is UFC. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about one particular small cap REIT that I've been buying lately. But before I get into it, if you could please like this video, help me a lot, thank you very much. So the REIT that I'm gonna talk about is called UMH Properties, ticker symbol UMH. This is one of just three REITs that specializes in manufactured housing communities. These are real estate investments that are rarely discussed. Most investors tend to focus on apartment communities and industrial properties, perhaps some retail centers, but I think that manufactured housing is actually one of the best property sectors. This is because it generates very resilient cash flow that's growing at a steady pace, it's recession resistant, and the capex is very low. What makes manufactured housing communities unique and attractive for the landlord is that they will typically just own the land and the associated infrastructure like the roads. The tenants will then bring their own manufactured home on the lot that they will rent from the landlord and so this makes it very attractive because you'll get very low capex since as a landlord you don't have to maintain the homes themselves which can be quite expensive then for two your tenant is going to be very heavily dependent on your property because it can be impractical and very expensive to move one home from one lot to another and so they are unlikely to leave your property keeping the vacancy very low and then the tenant is very unlikely to stop paying the rent to the landlord because again their home is on the land that, that they are leasing and so if they become delinquent on their rent the landlord could in many cases actually sue the tenant and if they have a debt towards the landlord they could force a sale of the home or, or just take possession of it themselves to, to cover the debt. And then this is recession proof because affordable housing is arguably the most affordable form of housing that there is. So there is always demand, growing demand, particularly in recessions when people try to cut down their budget. But at the same time, the supply is limited here because it's very difficult to get a permit for a new manufactured home community. Because of all these reasons, manufactured housing communities will typically command high valuations with low cap rates and these rates will trade at high FFO multiples. But today this isn't the case and you get to invest in a portfolio of manufactured housing communities through UMH properties at a heavily discounted share price. We estimate that the company is today priced at a 30 to 40% discount to its net asset value and just around 14 times FFO which is historically low for manufactured housing REIT. It is so cheap because its share price dropped very significantly in 2022 along with the rest of the REIT market. It dropped quite a bit more than the average because again this is a smaller and lesser known REIT and small caps are typically quite a bit more volatile than the average of the sector. And so because of this UMH was already discounted earlier this year but then recently dropped quite a bit more after it announced disappointing fourth quarter results. The market didn't like the results because the FFO per share which is a uh, a rough estimate of the cash flow came quite a bit below the expectations of the market. But here's why I think that this is an opportunity. I think that the market has overlooked two important things here about UMH business model. For one, the company's quarterly FFO per share figure can be very misleading because the company owns a lot of securities as well on top of its manufactured housing communities. These securities change in value every quarter. Lately in 2022, they've been losing value uh, as the stock market has been declining. And so this has impacted its FFO per share. This Despite not even selling these at the loss, it's just the unrealized loss and gain is always reflected in the FFO. So this is a poor metric to use in our opinion. And so because of this, I think the quarterly FFO per share doesn't have much meaning. And then for two, the nature of UMH business leads to some bumpiness because they are always raising more capital to buy more communities. And quite often the acquisitions are dilutive at first because the cost of capital is higher than the cap rate of the acquisition. But then through value 
had an improvement in these communities, they're able to bump up the occupancy rates and the rents. And so the accretion then shows a few years down the line. This greatly benefits long-term oriented shareholders, but it often scares away the short-term oriented investors who focus on headline figures like quarterly FFO. I just recently got to talk to Sam Landy, who's the CEO of UMH Properties. We organized an exclusive interview, which we've posted on High Yield Landlord, which is my REIT newsletter. You can, by the way, access it with a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description. But what he told us in short is that they expect to grow the FFO per share by right around 50% over the coming five years. Their FFO is growing so fast because their rents are growing, their occupancy rates are growing, and they are acquiring these new communities that they are currently improving. And so to make it short here, I think that you have a great opportunity to buy now shares of a good company that's growing at a solid pace, but it's temporarily discounted because investors are focusing too much on their short term, on their headline figures, which are quite misleading in the case of UMH. As I noted, I'm in regular contact with the management team and I'm quite confident that the company is going to keep growing in the coming years. Now, if you want to learn more about what else I'm buying, again, feel free to join my read newsletter. There's a link in the description with a two week free trial and otherwise if you could like and subscribe it will help me a lot thank you very much bye bye